Okay, students, today we are going to discuss one question about sector and arc. Okay, look at your screen. This is the figure one and this one, figure two. Figure one shows a major sector with a reflex angle AOB, 216 degrees, and a radius of 20 centimeters. When the sides OA and OB is joined together without overlapping, it will form a cone as shown in figure 2. Is it clear, one? Okay, look at figure 1 and figure 2. The question is, find the radius of cone and find the height of cone. Okay, students, what is information we got from figure 1 and figure 2? Okay, students, this is the major arc. Once again, the, the red line is major arc. Okay, the red line is major arc with a reflex angle 216 degrees. Okay, now we go to the figure two. When the sides OA and OB is joined together without overlapping, it will form a cone as shown in figure 2. Is that right, everyone? Okay, so what is the conclusion from figure 1 to figure 2? When the sides OA and OB is joined together without overlapping, it will form a cone as shown in figure 2. So the conclusion is, the major arc, it will be equal to the circumference of base of con. Once again, the major arc, it will be equal to circumference of base of con. Is it right? Okay. Major arc equals to circumference of base of cone. Once again, major arc equals to circumference of base of cone. As we know that the major arc formula is theta over 360 degrees times 2 times phi times r. And equals to, to the circumference of base of cone as we know that this, the circumference of base of con is 2 phi times r of con. Is that right, everyone? Okay, we can continue. 216 degrees over 316 degrees times 2 times phi times 20 centimeter. 20 centimeter is the radius of major arc, right? equals to 2 times phi times radius of con. Okay, we can cancel this one. For the left side and the right side, it will be canceled by 2 and phi. Now we got the simple equation. So, the radius of cone is 12 centimeter. That's very easy, right? Okay, now we got the radius of cone already. It is 12 centimeter. The next question is how to find the height of cone. Okay, we can continue to the next question, the height of con. 
as we know, when the sides OA and NOB is joined together without overlapping, it will form a cone as shown in figure 2. The radius of cone we got already. It is 12 cm. Okay, now we're going to complete the data or information for the figure 2. The radius is 12 cm, right? Okay, and this one is the height of con. Okay, we name this one with H. Okay, what about this land? Okay, 12 centimeter is the radius of the major arc. This 12 centimeter, it will be slant of the cone. Because when the sides OA and OB is joined together without overlapping, 12 centimeter will be slant of the cone. Is it right, everyone? Okay, now we can copy this slant of cone to the right side of figure 2 as is 20 centimeter. Okay, so what is the next? Yes, by using Pythagoras theorem, we can write that S squared equals to 8 squared plus 12 squared. Do you remember the Pythagoras formula? Good. Once again, S squared equals to 8 squared plus 12 squared. 20 squared equals 2, 8 squared plus 12 squared. Next, 400 equals to 8 squared plus 144. And 400 minus 144, it will be 8 squared. Now we got the symbols 1, 8 squared equals to 256. By rooting for both sides, left and right, we found that H is 16 centimeter. Okay, so then now we already the height of cone is 16 centimeter. That's very easy, right? Thank you.